Oh, hi, I'm Roger, a gadget guy. Have you ever been in a room with someone who's so engrossed in what's going on on their phone that they don't notice anybody or anything around them? There's a whole world of sights and sounds on here that only one person can see. Well, you can change that by connecting your phone wirelessly to a TV. You can share photos and videos that are on your phone. You can all listen to songs or music playlists, and you can make social media truly social by sharing it with real 3D people who are in the room with you. To connect wirelessly to a TV on an iPhone, you use AirPlay. And today's video is gonna show you how to use AirPlay on any TV. And once you have AirPlay set up on your TV, it's just crazy easy to use. So all I do is go to AirPlay and select my TV, and my photo just pops up on the screen. And I can go to other photos as well. Uh, just scroll to other photos. Every iPhone that you can buy has AirPlay built right into the phone, but not every TV does. Now, if you have a recent smart TV by Samsung, LG, Sony, or Vizio, or any brand of TV with a Roku TV operating system, then it probably has AirPlay built in. If it's any other TV, then it probably doesn't like this older Sony TV. If your TV doesn't have AirPlay built in, you can add it by adding a video streamer. Now the Apple TV and the Roku, this is a Roku Express, have AirPlay built into them, but they're not your only choices. The Amazon Fire TV stick, and the Google Chromecast with Google TV can support AirPlay if you add an inexpensive app. And I've tried that app, it works really well and acts just as if AirPlay was built into the devices themselves. If you already have a TV that supports AirPlay or you have an Apple TV or a Roku 4K compatible streamer, then you can skip forward to the part where I show you how to use AirPlay and what it can do. To enable AirPlay on a Fire TV, we need to install an app. And the best one that I've found is called Air Receiver. Now, Air Receiver costs $3, but it's worth paying that because you avoid any ads or annoying feature restrictions. And it's a one-time charge, not a subscription. And once you've paid it, you can install Air Receiver on as many Fire TVs as you like. And once it's installed, you can just forget that it's there. AirPlay just works like it should. The advantage of using an Amazon Fire Stick is it comes with my favorite TV remote control. Not only is this really simple to use, but it can be set up to control a very wide variety of equipment. And it may just be the only remote control you need to use for your entire home theater system. To install Air Receiver, we need to go to the little magnifying glass search icon, and then we can scroll down and go to the App Store. We need to navigate to and click on the search button in the App Store and then click in the search box that pops up. Now we start typing Air Receiver and I see it's appeared in the suggestions, so we'll scroll down and click on it. Then I click on the apps icon and I see in the next screen a button that says download. If I hadn't already bought this, that button would say buy. And so you click on that button and I wait for it to install. 
When it's done installing, you click on open and that'll take you to a box that asks you if you want to allow it to access photos and other media. Now that is the whole point of this app, so you click allow. This takes you to the air receiver settings screen. You want to keep all of the defaults checked, except Google Cast. You don't really need that for an iPhone, so you can uncheck that. Then you scroll down to device name, and you want to give it a name that you will recognize when you see it on your phone later. I call mine Basement Fire TV, and I'll fast forward through the on-screen typing. When you're done typing, you click on Next, then OK. We scroll down to AirPlay Security. I normally turn the AirPlay Security off. It's in your own home, on your own network, and this avoids the hassle of typing in a pin when you use it. And now you're finished, so you just push the Home button on the remote, and you're ready to use AirPlay. I'll show you now how to use Apple's AirPlay. And to find AirPlay when you're in an app, you need to look out for one of these two symbols or the word AirPlay. To show you how to use AirPlay on an iPhone or an iPad, let's go to the Podcasts app. We open up the app, we select a podcast, and at the bottom center, there's the AirPlay symbol. We touch that, we select the TV that we want to play on, and then we push play. It's, yeah, exactly. So how do we get the podcast data do mind? And the podcast just plays on the TV and the TV speakers. In some apps, the AirPlay symbol is hidden. Let's go to Apple's photo app. To find the AirPlay, we have to open up a photo. And then there's the share symbol, which is a square with an arrow coming out the top. We hit that, then we have to scroll down and there you see AirPlay. And you hit that, select the TV that we want to select, and the photo just appears. And we can scroll to other photos in the app. Now let's go to the XM Radio app. In this app, we see the same symbol that's used in Google's Chromecast. And to find AirPlay, we have to touch that. And you'll see that AirPlay is under More Devices. You hit that, then you can select the TV that you want to play to. You click on the X to exit, and you hit Play. Common Sense Policy Book, aiming to find middle ground on controversial issues. And the radio starts playing on your TV. If you can't find the AirPlay button inside an app, the other way to use AirPlay is to use screen mirroring. And screen mirroring plays exactly what's on your iPhone or iPad screen on the TV screen and plays the audio through the TV speakers. To use screen mirroring, first, you have to go to the control panel. To access the control panel on an iPhone, you swipe up from the bottom. On an iPad, you swipe straight down from the top right. Once you have the control panel open, you look for the screen mirroring button, which is two overlapping rectangles. And you push that button, and then you select the TV that you want to play on. And there you see the iPad screen playing on the TV. The iPhone works in exactly the same way. Let's go to an app. We open up GarageBand, and we get to play some music. I can't call it music, but those organ notes sound pretty impressive on the big speakers. I've put links to videos related to this one in the description of this video. If you like this video, then give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I put links to products that I've shown in the description of the video. If you buy through those links, it won't cost you any more, but it will help to support this channel and is much appreciated. That's all I had for today. Thanks for watching.